Hello, people, it's Poet, and we are back in Jurassic Park Builder! Now, of course, today being exciting because Jurassic World trailer come out, came out, <laughs> come out. It came out today, so I watched it, it was cool. Um, this isn't called Jurassic World Builder yet, but it practically is, because we have our own little Jurassic World here. Now, when we left off, I had kind of tried to clear out this area. I just queued these up to be removed. And now they have been. So that gives us a little bit of experience. We're almost at level 30 now. Um, and what that'll let us do is place new creatures. We haven't found any yet, but we certainly will soon, I imagine. Let me see here. Market. Creatures. Yeah, we can place this one. The Yul... You, huh? U L N Yuntatherium. Is that an I? Uintatherium? I can't tell if that's an I or an L. It looks like an L on here, but I think not. Well, uh, it looks exactly the same as that one. Yuntatherium. Whatever it is, we will get that. Almost like the Elasmatherium, except has obviously more horns and stuff. We're going to get that and place it down in this park. We can actually do that now. We can get that done now. Now that we have the room to place them, why don't we? So let's put it right there. I think that's about the same distance away from the road as this guy is. Um, and now he will go and... And uh, not hatch. Be... Incubated, I guess is the right word. Yeah, incubated. That's an incubator. Uh, and it's going to be 42 hours. That's two days. Basically. Wow. Two days I'll get them. But I probably won't play this for another two days anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but that's kind of exciting that we're going to get the Yontetherium or whatever you call it. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, let's get these guys moving. There. So that's brought us back up a little bit in coin. Not all the way, but they gain a lot of coin, these guys. I often go to the dinosaurs for my monies, but these guys aren't anything to shake a stick at either. I mean, 5,356. 2,256. 1,947, 2,650, I mean, they get me thousands of coin, so that's pretty good. Complete those, get that, should I accept these things here? I think I will. If you accept these here, well, when you're in the glacier area, um, experience, 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 coin, coin, buck. Experience, buck, coin, buck, coin, 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 coin. Help, 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 help! We didn't get any food? Well, that completely, I was going to say, <laughs> completely threw me off. Because I was going to say, like, if you accept it here, like, your message is here, then any food that you had before would be food here. But it doesn't help when I don't get any food. I'm just getting money from people. I also was chatting with this guy in the comments. And he said something that was kind of interesting. And I agreed with. Um, so doing these expeditions. I'm going to give you guys a tip. Because I actually agreed with his tip. I think it was a pretty good one. Um, is that when you have the rare DNA. I don't right now. There are no rare DNAs. Oops. I didn't mean to hit the top of the screen. Um, when you get a rare DNA, like limited edition, this time only, always buy five and always hit speed up. I know that I don't usually hit speed up, but when it's a rare one, hit speed up and it'll still be cheaper by hundreds and hundreds of bucks up to like 30 times. You can hit speed up like 30 times and then it'll finally become more expensive, but otherwise, I still think that this is a pretty good idea uh, to buy all five 
all the time because you still get the chance at getting the rare DNA. You just do. Um, or is it? Should I? Like, it really doesn't matter to me. Maybe I will just do the free one. That'll be the ultimate saving of bucks. If I do the free one... Okay? So we do the free one all the other times. When it's a rare one, we will click on the expedition. Where is that? Oh, right here in the corner. And we will hit speed up. That's what I'm saying. Like, you hit speed up, and you do it again. You hit speed up, you do it again. You hit speed up, you do it again, until you finally get the rare DNA. Sometimes you can get it first try. But I think that was a pretty good tip. I'm going to try that next time. So I'm back to just choosing the free ones now, I think. Let's go to the aquatic. We're done in the glacier area. Um, okay, so I also cleared out land here. Uh, look at all these, these sea creatures are just sitting around, not doing anything, not moving. Can we buy any others here too? Do we have any that I can buy? No, none at all. Um, we are looking for what looks like another tortoise turtle type of thing. See what our expedition comes up with. Nope, we didn't get it. But again, I'm just going to start doing the free ones. Okay. Do that. Do that. And now let's go and accept all these, these fishies. And we can hatch this new one. So, zoom in close. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, yeah! This is the Cephoderma, or whatever it's called. Oh, it's such a baby turtle now! It's so little. And it is a Crustacevore. Um, which we have lots of. We have almost 30,000 shrimps, krill, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> So, I'm going to level it up to be big. I want to see what this guy looks like when he's big. Uh, yeah, we got, we got more than enough. So there we go. It is battle ready. It is large now. It almost looks like an underwater armadillo. Kind of, doesn't it? I find that to be kind of cool. Some kind of underwater armadillo type turtle creature thing. Sort of like a... It's sort of a weird cross between a turtle, a stingray, an armadillo. Like, it's so many weird things all together. I love it. I really I really like that. And it is my smallest sea creature. It's my smallest one. Even at the biggest size, it's still tiny. Let's see what we got here. People needing help. That's all we got. Um, so can we place another creature? I looked already. Yeah, that's right. And no, we can't. Um, let's see what our missions are for this area. Have four coral plates. Have two barnacle stones. I've got one already. Have two small fossils. Collect a thousand coins from the Megalodon Diner. I don't have a Megalodon Diner. I guess he's kind of telling me that I should get one. What is a Megalodon Diner? There it is. Oh, it's cheap. It's not that expensive. Really? It's not that bad. Actually, nothing under the water here is that expensive. Wow, look at that. Jellyfish Kingdom, 5,607 coin every time you collect on it. That is pretty good. That one, too, and it's actually cheaper. It's 5,000, and it's... Just about 10 bucks cheaper. Hmm, that one's pretty good too. Wow, they're all pretty good. But what do we need? A Megalodon Diner? Let's get one. I'm going to put it... You know what? I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to make the little boat trail go to it at least. So that people can go and get their food at the diner. There we go. 
So that'll have that tiny portion of the mission done. He wants the two small fossils, which are really expensive, I think. So that's kind of out of the question for now. Have three stars with any crustacea boar. Hmm. I've got two out of three stars. One of them, apparently. I guess this guy. No, he's a piscivore. Huh? Oh. Oh! Three individual stars. So this guy, I think. I think. This guy for sure. And that's it. So that means that I could level one up. Maybe these. Hmm. They're, this guy's a little bit cheaper. Tiny bit. Than this guy. I bet you if I evolve this guy though. That that will also finish the quest. So should I? Should I do that? Hmm. It's going to be so expensive. I've got over a million coin. Which isn't that hard to get these days. I was down to like 200,000. I got right back up to a million pretty quick. Um, now that I've got so many creatures. So I think I'm going to hit evolve. It's 9,000 coin each. That is expensive. But I don't think it's as... It's not the most expensive I've seen. And we'll just go through. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Let's do it. Click, 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 click. I'm clicking as fast as I can just to get this done as fast as I can. Um, it seemed to me that one of the other sea creatures finished a lot faster. And I thought that they had balanced it a little bit. Balanced it? it? They had balanced it a lot differently. But I guess they haven't. It was just a strange, strange fluke that one of them was speeding up. Did like three of these little DNA strands at a time. Uh, so what are your thoughts on the new Jurassic World? What did, what did you think of the trailer? Did you watch the trailer? If you haven't, go see it. It's pretty interesting. Shows that they've got some kind of a weird genetic mutation creature type of thing. Which I don't know if I'm really happy about. I think some people in my comments have been calling it D-Rex or something. Not sure what that's all about, but... Um, I don't know. I kind of... I liked the idea of just being dinosaurs. When they start going into the whole mutations and weird genetic creatures, it kind of makes me think of Godzilla movies, and I'm not really that much a fan. I'd rather it just be, like, a Spinosaurus. Or... T-Rex, Allosaurus, Giganotosaurus, you know, do do one of those things, or, you know, be more dinosaur-oriented, not weird sea creature, weird, or weird sea creature, weird genetic creature type of thing. Sea creature is fine. <laughs> I think the trailer showed that they had, like, a Tylosaurus. It's either a ty Tylosaur or some other kind of uh, Mosasaur. I was pretty excited about that. Come on, we're almost there. Almost there. There we go. So now he is going. Oh yeah, and that was the three stars that we needed. Who would want to sabotage the park? Who indeed? Whoa. It grew to be 400% larger than their male counterparts. The female did. All right. Uh, buy two buildings. That's that's all he wants. Just buy buildings. Which kind of stinks that I just bought that one. That would have counted. Help, help, help. Now I got to buy two others, I guess. Um, let's see. 15,000. I could just buy two of those. Would be... That would work. And they collect money. Why don't I do that? Huh? Or, what people always tell me to do is sell two. 
so that you get half your money back. Because I'll sell that, it'll get me 7600 So I sell those two, buy two more, and then it's only cost me half. You know what I mean? Let me do the math for you. If I sell this one and this one, it would get me the same price as one of these. So that's one of these already bought and paid for. Then I just have to buy the other. So I think that makes sense. Sell that one. Sell that one. And then I'll go to the market. Buy that one. And I'll go to the market and buy that one. And now it's only cost me half as much. There we go. And he's happy too. Thank you. I'll be back soon. Oh, he's back. What does he want? Here comes the engine board of directors. Right on time. I want everyone on their best behavior and extend every courtesy to them. Let's welcome our engine guests today. Please make them feel at home, Jurassic Park style. Collect 9,000 coins, collect 8,000 coins. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. That's gonna be easy to do. I like those easy ones. So when we come back to this place, we're gonna have two new turbines the diner and an evolved ammonite so that's cool that's really good Jurassic Jurassic get there go there click click cost me a fortune to get all this food but worthwhile I hope uh, and now the loudness of the dinosaurs Oh, she's happy with that. Miss Curtis, your videos have brought more guests to the park than some expensive TV advertising. I'd like to offer you a job. Well, there she goes. Getting herself a job. And these. And that's all. So, let's see. This guy, I've evolved a bunch of them. I don't remember if I've shown that on camera. I think I did. But, like, I leveled up the Brachiosaur. He's a one star. This guy's one star. I'm pretty sure I showed that one. Got, like, the zebra striping and stuff. Um, the rare Amargosaurus. Um, without the spines, of course, they put a little kind of a sail on his back. Which is okay. You know, artist's interpretation, as they say. Um... He's a rare one, and probably a strong one, too. I don't know if he's Gold Star or not. Hmm. More male and aquatic. What? I'm going to go there, and it's going to be like, help somebody. So, not interested. This guy's at four stars. I think I showed that already as well. He's my second four-star dinosaur in the park. Um, this one being my first. This guy's got to level up. I want to see some coloration on this guy. Oh, and he's ready to evolve. Let's do it. Oh, that's expensive, though. It's going to cost us like 300000 probably. We're going to be down to like 600000 here, maybe more. Oh, boy. This is expensive. I'm seeing the coins drop. Coins are just sinking. Oh boy. If I played this more, like people hear me complain all the time that oh it's so expensive, it's so expensive. People are like, no, Paul, oh, it's not expensive, you're dumb. It's not expensive at all. But to me, because I don't play this every day, some people play this lots of times every day. Like not only do they log in every day, but they log in many times all day. Me. I don't. I log in maybe once every week. Maybe a couple times in the week at most. So, seeing the coins drop like that when it costs me so much. Oh, it's hard to take. It's hard for me to take. What did I say I'd be down to? About 600,000? Looks like I'm going to be almost right there. Ooh, I'm going to go lower. Maybe 400,000 even. It's going to be pretty low down. 
But like I said, we gain a million dollars fairly quick. It doesn't take us too long. Um, we do get a lot of coin from people helping us. And our dinosaurs get us lots of coin. We can finish some missions, maybe get some coin. What I don't like is that the missions, which should be your primary source of coins, usually cost more. It's kind of like a money grabbing scheme, which I don't like. Like it's the game developers wanting you to spend money more than it is giving you stuff in the game. That's why I'm hoping with Jurassic World, hopefully there's a new kind of like this kind of game, but a little bit less, you know, about spending coin and getting bucks. Would be nice. Eh, come on, one more. Ooh, that one was weird, but it worked. So he's going to evolve, and how long is it going to take him? Eh, 18 hours, so about a day. And I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm ready to put the road back. I don't have the lag that I used to now that I've got my new computer. Some people were saying that it was the road that was lagging it out. It wasn't. The road, when I removed the road, it didn't change anything. Um, I think it was just my computer at the time. So, I'm going to start putting the road back. That should make this place a little bit, look a little bit nicer, I think. When people come and visit my park, they can see what I've been working on. Go along like that. And then up here. Um, how should I do this one? Right along the side of it, I guess. So, like, right to there. There we go. And like that. And there. Now people can go and drive around in their land cruisers and see the dinosaurs and actually get to these buildings. You know what, I should actually do that too, is like have kind of a way to get down in there. And a way to get over to here, this pump station. And even a way down here. Come on. This will be temporary, I think. I gotta once again kind of reevaluate how I have the roads here and how I have the dinosaurs set up. There we go. Oh, that looks so much better already. Just adding the little roads in looks so much better. Like all of these, I gotta move around. I'm gonna have to do it like a huge park revitalization project like I gotta make these guys look good somehow I've seen other people's parks when I go and look at these other parks and stuff down there and I gotta say like some of them look really cool they're designed really nice mine I don't think is designed that great so I gotta I gotta spruce it up a little bit but with that I think we're gonna end the episode there thank you guys for watching Share this video on Twitter and Facebook. Subscribe if you haven't already and do all those other awesome things you people do. Including checking out my new shirt shop. It's at poetplays.spreadshirt.com. Link will be in this, the description. And uh, be sure to check out that Jurassic World trailer that has been out for a few hours as of me recording this now. Go check it out if you haven't already. And tell me what you think. And we'll see you next time in Jurassic Park Builder. Bye-bye.